Well, during the darkest days of World War II, a Polish rabbi entrusted a shepherd with a sacred Torah scroll. So the fact that you see this Torah saved by this simple Polish man as the last wish of his neighbor, the rabbi, we understood straight away that we have a responsibility as third and fourth generation of Holocaust survivors to rewrite this missing part of the Torah. This Torah is more than anything, it's a symbol. I really be able to bring it here to Beverly Hills and to have local Holocaust survivors and in memory of those come together with us and recomplete some of the missing part of this Torah, we're able to keep this message forward for many generations to come. Every morning I saw the smoke from the convoys that came in in the evening and that went straight in the gas chambers. We owe it to those people who all died there that we don't forget it. <laughs> It was such a powerful day to honor a very, very important moment in time. And as they say, we can never forget. It was one of the darkest times in our history. Millions of people perished. And this gives an opportunity to honor them, to keep their voice alive, to keep their memory alive. about the Torah project and the effort behind it, go to fromthedepths.org.